As temperatures approach record highs this weekend, medical experts want people to take precautions to avoid heat stroke. Those include staying hydrated and being self-aware. Zeke Torres joins us now with what you need to know. Zeke. Mike, that's right. Whether people are outside in scorching temperatures for activities or work, taking simple steps like those mentioned can potentially be life-saving. With temperatures soon expected to near triple digits, Dr. Alan Stewart with the Knox County Health Department is asking residents to be cautious. He says heat complications can begin around the 80 degree mark. Anything that's extreme is, is really quite dangerous, both for heat and cold, and we really do have to pay attention to that. And being wise and cognizant of this is, is staying safe. And as we said, you, it, it, once things start to happen, things happen pretty fast. Early signs of heat stroke include headaches and muscle weakness. Stewart adds more severe cases include people not sweating and having their skin turn red. It can be life-threatening, uh, and you can have uh, uh, kidney failure. Your kidneys can shut down. People who have uh, uh, heart disease can have heart attacks. Uh, people we talk about become unconscious and... But for some, being outside is unavoidable. Hank Metzger, owner of Metzger Landscape, says high temperatures can potentially delay some projects' completion. Sometimes they don't get done quite as fast or it just takes us a little bit longer, you know, of course, as I said. But in the end, they get done. The number one priority is our employees. Above all, Stewart says wearing light clothing, sunscreens, and being self-aware will go a long way. The main thing, I think, is to stay well hydrated, take plenty of fluid. And when people are outside and they're active, they should be sweating. Now, later in the show, Jesse Walker will give us the latest weather updates. Dana? All right, thanks so much, Z.